Okay, welcome to basic animation in Python 3, part 3. Um, so this is what we, we currently have. Uh, cancel, I hit the wrong button. So it's function F5. And we have our turtle animating every half a second. It's changing its shape. and But we have blocking, it's blocking the main loop. It's blocking the rest of the program from running. So I'm going to show you how to get around that today. And we're going to do that by using something called the onTimer method. Okay, and this is part of the turtle module. Um, so if you're using something like Pygame, it has its own version of this. Uh, if you're using TK Enter, it has its own version of this. Um, actually, the turtle module is built on TK Enter. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to watch what I'm doing here. I'm going to stop using this time module. I'm not going to need it anymore. Okay. Uh, so, well, actually, no, I'm going to uh, let me think about this. No, I don't need that anymore. Okay, so watch what I do here. This is a little bit more complicated. So basically what I gotta do is I gotta find out if the player, if its shape is a square, okay, then we wanna change the shape to a circle. Okay. So this will give us the current player shape and then we'll see if it's a square, okay? And if it's a square, we'll change it to a circle. Else if the player.shape equals uh, a circle. We only have two shapes, so this is pretty straightforward. Player.shape equals, oops, player.shape square. And yeah, you might have to be real careful there. You see what I did? Um, here we're using equal signs, here we're using uh, a function call, so you gotta be careful there. Um, now the problem is, let's, I'm gonna go ahead and run this, uh, and you'll see what happens. Now it's really hard to see, but this is changing so fast that it's it's just you can't tell there's an animation going on there. Um, so now if I put time dot sleep back in here, time dot sleep zero point five, and if I run it we'll get our animation. But again, the main loop is blocked. It's only running once per second. And usually you're gonna need that main loop running about, you know, maybe 30 times a second is a good frame rate. So here's what we're gonna do. Now watch this, this is pretty cool. We're gonna use the on timer method. So say set, we're gonna set a timer and it's win, because we put win up here, dot on timer and then I'm gonna put player animate, comma, 500. Let me explain that. So what this does is it sets a timer and it says after 500 milliseconds, which is half a second, call the function player animate. Okay, notice there's no parentheses here, even though there's parentheses here. Okay, It's gonna call this function every half a second. Okay. Now watch what I do here, this is important. So I only need to call this method one time. And I have to pull this back, okay? That's over to the left. So before my while true loop, okay, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna call this method, that will update the animation and set the timer and then it keeps calling it and calling it and calling it. Meanwhile, the while true loop is gonna keep running. Okay, now we're probably gonna see a little bit of an error here or a bug and I'll explain it in a second. So F5, I'm gonna run it. Okay, so you can see how it's not changing. Okay, but the main loop is running. If you look here, you can tell it's running a little bit. Uh, and you see I got the little red spinny beach ball. Okay, this, this will possibly lock up your computer. Um, so hopefully you didn't start running this uh, until I finish the explanation. Uh, the, uh, the reason for this is it just it just locks up the thread. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, so to fix this, you put in here win.update. And that makes sure that the loop breaks for, a, you know, kind of takes a little break and then updates the screen for you. So I hit function F5. Okay, now we see the animation is running and the main loop is still running. Okay, it's just going, 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 going. It's going really, really fast now. So we could, at this point in the main loop, we could have other things moving on the screen. We could be playing sounds, checking for collisions, uh, et cetera, et cetera, checking the score, 
all checking to see if there's lives left, all those kinds of things. But notice the animation keeps running. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So that is kind of where we're at with this now. Okay, um, so I'm going to stop there. And in the next video, we're going to learn how to do this. I believe it's the next video. We're going to learn how to do this with pictures, possibly. So let's find out. I can't remember what the actual next one is. Talk to you soon.